welcome back. Welcome to my palette collection series. I'm going to keep this intro very brief because it's the same intro for every video. Um, at the end of the video, you will there will be a total in either this corner or this corner of how many palettes I have in each section. Okay. Um, and right now, I will tell you how many I have total right, I think it's over this shoulder. This is the amount of palettes that I own. Okay. Um, I think it's the shoulder. If it is, if I just pretend I'm doing this, if it's not. Um, so my palettes are divided by affordable, custom, large, small, high end, and small, high end indie are one, and then high end and high end indie are one together as well. And um, then I think, did I say large? I think I said large. And then uh, luxury. Okay. And large are just basically big ass palettes. Doesn't matter if they're affordable or whatever. They're just big ass palettes, okay? So um, so the intro will go something like this. Today you'll be watching, okay, this video has a total of palettes. Yeah, I know it's a lot. This is video number in this series. Uh, the longest video will definitely be the high-end video. It's at least two hours because it's my high-end and my high-end indie, and I have a lot of palettes in that section. So please feel free to take a break, but please, I want you guys to watch these and let me know what you think. Um, and the last thing I want to say is I bought all this shit with my own money. Nobody bought this for me. I work very hard. It's my shit. I can do what I want. Um, and I'm not here for any criticism of my collection. I'm really not. I enjoy my collection and this during this whole time I was thinking about maybe I should get rid of some of this stuff and I did I started putting stuff on Sol and Mercari but then um, that I was okay with but I'm not giving away and I'm not selling anything that I like it's my stuff thanks for watching these videos and have a great day take care hey guys real quick just an FYI in each um, intro there will be pictures of where the palettes are located in my beauty room so where I um, store them and just kind of a shot and a little video. Okay, just wanna let you know that. Thanks. Welcome guys, thank you for joining me. This is your girl Bougie Bree. Welcome back, thank you for joining me. Um, this is part five of my eyeshadow palette collection. We are gonna do high-end mainstream brands and then I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna do high-end indie. Um, so I divide my palettes as follow. Custom, affordable, affordable indie, affordable um, mainstream, um, large, and in the large palette, you could be affordable, it could be indie, it could be whatever, it's just a large ass palette. And then I have small high end, small high end indie, and then high end, which are these guys in these baskets, and then high end indie, and then luxury. <coughs> Excuse me. I will try to keep my sniffling to a minimum. I'm really sorry. I have terrible allergies, and somebody commented a while back that it was annoying, and I am so, so sorry. That I will apologize for, because it is annoying, but I can't help it. So I have these three, baskets right here that are mainstream brands and then behind me I'm gonna turn you guys behind me I have this Alex six drawer with uh, my indie high end okay sorry if that made you nauseous so there are going to be some brands in here that are controversial um, this is how I feel I don't necessarily support the owner 
the owner has people that work for them that need to feed their family. And if I like the palette, I'm gonna buy the palette. I'm not concerned about Kat Von D, Jeffree Star, or, or Laura Lee, whatever the hell they are doing is not my business. I use my money as I see fit. Unless you are putting money in my bank account, you have nothing to say about what I do with my money. So, all right. So let's get started. We'll start with this basket. This basket is Kat Von D and Too Faced and Urban Decay. I think I need to grab something really quick. Hold on a second. I think I got some other palettes over here. I do. I do, I do, I do indeed. Okay. Glad I grabbed those before I forgot. Oh, I don't want to try trying to hurdle over some baskets. So I will start with the ones that were oh no I will not. I forgot four five palettes in my large palette. Um, section because they're on display and so I'm going to show you those really really quick. I have the handbook for the deceased. Um, this is supposed to be a Beetlejuice palette. I've never seen the movie, movie Beetlejuice but I loved the aesthetic of this and so I purchased that. I recently purchased <clears throat> from Storybook Cosmetics which are the rest of them. The Fairy Tale Storybook and the Little Briar Rose. really beautiful. Then I have the other ones from Storybook and I really buy from Storybook. At first it was just because the presentation was so unique. I had to have this. When I was growing up and we first got cable in the 80s, the only fucking movie they played was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So <clears throat> when I bought this and opened it, I almost cried because they have the fucking golden ticket. And then, on top of that, they have these magnificent shades. The quality is actually very, very good. So, I have that one. That was the first one I bought because it was available. The ones that were not available took me a while to get, and that was the one they didn't get the licensing for, <laughs> um, which is the Wizard Wizard's, Wizard's, Wizardry, sorry, in Witchcraft. I don't particularly like the name, but I love the palette. And I've used this and I really like it. The quality is amazing. And then the one that was the hardest to get was this bad boy. The Mean Girls Burn Book. And they all come with a, um, bookmark which I thought was really cute and so here's the burn book I've used it quite a bit actually that green shade right there at the top in the middle called gruel it's just beautiful it's a beautiful that blue it's just dynamic it's a beautiful palette so I'm really glad I have those and I wanted to show you, those are from my large section that I forgot because they are on display. Okay, so let's get going. I'm gonna try to be as quick as I can. There's a lot of shit to go through. And this video is going to be the longest. So um, get you a snack, get you some Doritos, whatever the hell, or whatever you're practicing as far as your eating habits. <laughs> so since we're starting off with Urban Decay, this basket, Kat Von D, and uh, Too Faced. These are the palettes that I had kind of sitting on my vanity because I want to use them more. <clears throat> First is the Naked Smoky. I love this palette. I think it's probably the best palette they've ever done as far as the Naked series. It's gorgeous. Also, one of my favorites is the Naked 2, which I love just as much. And then one, the other one that was sitting on my vanity is the Too Faced Pretty Rebel. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, when I bought this, it had already like was no longer available, so I had to go on a hunt for it. But it was suggested by Young Wild and Polish. She and I are about the same age, and I was like, you know what? I trust that girl. Let me see what she if she really knows what she's talking about. And let me show you this. Boom! This is Too Faced, right? Too Faced with their inconsistent asses, providing some quality for once. 
Boom. I mean, like, really, Two Face? Like, why aren't we doing this every fucking time? Boom. So, um, Two Face can produce some quality um, products, you know, and you'll see in this basket some of the things that are not as, you know, good of quality, and you'll see stuff like I just showed you. Okay. So, as, since we're talking about Two Face, let's do them. Okay, let's see where they start. Let's start with this bad mama jamma. This is the Too Faced A Life is a Festival palette. The holographic um, rainbow palette. I actually sold it and repurchased it. And I wanted to see if, uh, like, what I did wrong, kind of. Like, I don't know why I wasn't, like, enthused about it. And then I have this. Let's start back this way. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I have the junky one. One of my first palettes that I ever purchased. I've used it. You know what? This palette is so fucking hard pressed because I promise to God I've used the shit out of this palette. And I have some dips. Those are the two shades that I like the most. And I can't remember what they're called because I don't have a fucking thing with the sheets on it. But you can see there's dips. So I did enjoy that palette. I like it. I like it a lot. It's just they're so hard to pan. Like anybody that pans that palette, that must be their only palette. And then we have, what's next? Um, the Semi Sweet. This shade is Bullshit. This is a shitty shade. Um, but the rest are really nice. And this um, palette definitely has more mattes, but I do like it though. Then we have another one that I do like, which is more cool toned. I'm sitting in a chair this time, which was really a great idea. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the uh, Bon Bon's palette, which is also discontinued. I like this palette. I don't like this shade. Why are we like, if we're gonna do a matte, do a matte. If we're gonna do a shimmer, do a shimmer. Don't do a matte shimmer hybrid, because it comes out like this. It's just shitty. But I do like this palette. And then from there, they went to, I think I have all of the chocolate bar. I don't think I have the sweet peach anymore. I think I got rid of that one. They went to the chocolate gold. Now, this motherfucker is bad to the bone. But I, only, I have a couple of criticisms about this palette. It's amazing. Sorry about the lights, guys. It's amazing. But I wouldn't have made that gold so big. I would have made it a normal size shade. And I would have added another matte, a deeper matte. But the quality is phenomenal. I mean, it's beautiful. Oh, God, I'm See, I'm giving you a couple of swatches here. Okay, it's just these three right here. I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful palette. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, it just shows you that Too Faced can do quality, but, like, why are we doing it sometimes? It just um, annoys me. Okay, then I have this piece of shit, which is, oh my god, the white chocolate bar. If you are not Caucasian, this is not going to do shit for you. Like, there's no, there's no, there's nothing. Everything in here is lighter than my skin tone, except for this, and it's a cool tone. So, I just don't like it, but I keep it because that's what's happening in my life. Then they did, come on. Trying to do these in order if I remember correctly. Then down this one I do like. This is a clover palette. I have played with it a lot. I do like this. I think it's a funky scheme. I really like this shade right here. It's a beautiful palette. Then they came out with this motherfucker, the gingerbread spice. Now, I have used this. Do you see this shade right here and this shade right here? Bougie Bree loves that motherfucker. I love this thing. It's so badass. It's a great palette. And then I just recently purchased in the VIB this year, which is still in the box. Get it to the box, Bridget. Okay, is the Gingerbread Extra Spice. I like to keep the lookbooks because sometimes friends come over and you know they need some inspiration. I do like this one. It is different. Not different by much, but it is different. It has more mattes that are uh, suitable for my skin tone. So we're gonna rock with this one too. Also, guys, if I declutter something, if this is not a declutter. It's just because that's what I'm feeling at the time. 
Is that all of Too Faced? I think so. So then we have my Urban Decay. I have a fresh Urban Decay uh, Naked. I got rid of my old one because I had it forever. And I bought one when it was going, um, you know, it was being discontinued. I, ha I had all of the Naked palettes and then I sold some and then I bought some back because I'm a psycho. Um, then I have the Naked Heat, which I just repurchased. Got it for $15 with free shipping. Um, I don't have the Naked 3. What else? Is Are those the only Naked palettes I have? I guess it is. Let's grab this one. I did repurchase this one. I gave this one to my friend, my best friend Desiree. I repurchased the Born to Run. Because I only gave it one try, so I repurchased that one. I repurchased the Urban Decay Beached because I gave it to my niece and her friends. They really wanted it. And I hadn't even used it yet. So I repurchased this. It's just beautiful. I just love that palette. Okay. Shoot back where you go. Now these two, let's do this one. Oh, I forgot one. Then I have the Urban Decay Distortion. I have purchased, sold, purchased, sold, and purchased this again. And I finally figured out how to make it work where it's beautiful for me, so I have that one. Let me jump up and grab the most important Urban Decay palette that I own. Where are you? Oh, the two, there's two. Is there anybody back here that I need to grab? I need to get grab you and you, I think. Yeah, okay, I think that's it. Okay. I'm getting hot now. Get to talking about palettes. Get your ass hot. Okay. So then, these two are my favorite Urban Decay palettes. The After Dark and the Electric. This is the After Dark palette, and they're on my vanity because I like to use them. It's just beautiful. And then this booger. Whew, man. My first bright shadow. Um, like, eye look came from this, and I love it. This is my third electric palette, so I really like that palette. Okay, now we're moving into Kat Von D. Oh, no, no, no. These are also important to me. I have a very fondness for Jean-Michel Basquiat. When they came out the collaboration, I was totally stoked. I knew a lot about him. I had studied him um, in an art class that I took in college and these palettes are just remarkable just remarkable this is i think this is the griot and i actually have extras that i hang on my wall i, li I like them so much this is a beautiful palette i think this is the tenant i can't remember beautiful really special to me i really like these palettes Okay, now we're going into Kat Von D. If you want to fast forward or whatever, that's your business. Okay, let's start with this one. I have the Pastel Golf. Okay. I repurchased this after I sold it because I really liked it. Then I have these two, which are the Shade and Light Eye Glimmer and Shade and Light Eye. This is the Glimmer. And this is the shade in my eye. They look unused because my originals were damaged in a flood and I tried to salvage them and they grew mold and so I had to throw them out. Then I have the Interstellar, which I do like for a smoky look. And one of my favorite, my two favorites really, I have three favorites from Kat Von D actually. Um, the Monarch which I purchased because of Young Weldon Polish, and the Chrysalis, which is just beautiful. Just stunning. Okay. Then some of her newer palettes I have. I have the Anniversary Palette. This is when all the shit started to hit the fan. And I have used this. I like it a lot, actually. And the artwork is amazing. I have the Vegan Palette which is actually very, very good. I'm gonna swatch some of these just to show you the quality. Like I said, if you wanna fast forward, that's your thing, but 
Just because she's crazy doesn't mean she can't make a good product. These are two shades from that palette, and it's really beautiful. That red, let me, I've never tried that red. Let me try that red. She, I find Kat Von D, even before this, very creepy. But with all this going on, this nonsense going on now, she's beyond creepy, but whatever. Oops, she makes good stuff. Okay, and then the last two I have from her, this is also one of my very favorite probably top 10 palettes actually. This is the I Am Divine. I have used this palette. I have abused this palette. I love this palette. Let me give you this shade right here. Hold on. Wipe my hands. This shade right here is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's just stunning. Do you see that? It's this one right here. Then I'm going to swatch this blue for you and give you life. And then I'm going to swatch this line for you. And then I'm going to swatch this silver for you. Do you see how beautiful those are? Get out of my face. Okay. And I recently purchased Strand the VIB Rouge. Yes, I am a Rouge and I am proud of it. I recently purchased the uh, Lolita Por Vida. I did have the Lolita, but I didn't like it, so I got rid of it. So that's what it looks like. I have not used it, but these are definitely, uh, this is like my color story, and I was really intrigued by it. thought it was beautiful. So um, she makes good products, guys. Despite the fact that she's fucking crazy, she makes good products. So let's move over, shall we? So I've moved you over to the next bucket which is Lorac and Anastasia. Let's do Anastasia because it's easier and it's um, first. Uh, this was the first palette I ever purchased ever it was Lorac Pro. This is my third Lorac Pro. Yeah I just think I mean just when I was new, into neutrals this was it for me. Um, I have the Lorac Refined Romance. I had the matching one to it but um, I sold it. No, I gave it to my niece. Great travel palette. I have all of the unzips. Okay, so let's... And that's even the newer ones. Okay. Oh, God. Come here, guys. All right. So let's start with the original unzips. Okay, this is the unzipped gold. Okay. When people saw this palette, they lost their shit for um, Unleashed, this shade right here. It's gorgeous, this is my second one of these. This is the Lorac Unzipped Original. This is why I got rid of my uh, Urban Decay 3. This is the Lorac Unzipped Ocean. Get rid of those. This is my Lorac Unzipped Mountain Sunset. Get rid of that. And this is my Lorac. This is my favorite. Unzip Desert. Okay. So, those are those. And then, to continue with the Lorac Unzipped family. Um, sometimes Lorac will have stuff in Ulta. And sometimes it will be in Kohl's. And so, you have to hunt shit down. Um, last year, they did, like, these mini unzips. They did four of them. And three were in Ulta and one was in Kohl's, so I had to track it down. This is the Lorac, goddamn slips, man. This is the Lorac Unzip Brazen. This is the Lorac Unzipped Unfiltered, which I have used a lot. I like this one. This is the Lorac Unzipped Elegance, which is truly magnificent. Beautiful. And this one I just got a couple weeks ago. I finally found it at Kohl's. The Lorac Unzipped Unauthorized, which is a warm tone palette. Really pretty. Let's see if I can get this fit down there. Okay, that's all of my Lorac. I got rid of the Lorac Pro 2, 3, and 4. So now we're going to get into my Anastasia. Okay, I'm going to start 
Um, I don't know if this is the order they were um, released or not, but this is what I have. These are the ones I have. I do have the lavish. Barely used. And then, is this catwalk? Yeah. Then I have catwalk. This is catwalk. If you don't know what this one is, that's catwalk. Which is a very, extremely neutral palette. Still performs very, very well. Then, let's just grab these right here. Let's grab all of these guys. Okay. I don't know what order these came in, guys, so just forgive me. I have the Tamana. Get rid of that. I have the Amorizi, which I'm excited to see their new collab. I have the Mayamiya. I have the Artist. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I just keep hitting the camera. I'm doing a shitty job. Then I have, um, this is a Shadow Couture. I love this one. It's beautiful. Let's grab the next ones. Let's grab you, you, and you. Let's grab you two first. Then they came out with the Self Made, which is their first, like, big palette, 14 or whatever, 12 pan or whatever. And then they had the infamous, infamous Mario palette, which you can see, a sister loves. Then, this is going to sound stupid and ridiculous, I decluttered this. But during the VI, when it was a VIB, or I saw it on Beauty Bay, who somebody had it like ridiculously low priced. And to complete my collection, I repurchased the Modern Renaissance. Because I think now I can make it work with some of the purple shades I have. My favorite um, palette from um, ABH is definitely the Subculture. I have abused this considerably. And because, hold on, let me see. Oh, also, I do have this in here. This is the Bad Habit Artistry palette. Because I had done so much damage on my Mario palette, I picked this up because I didn't want to run out of shades. So that's why this is in here. I have the Subculture. And then they did, what did they do next? Prism? I can't remember, guys. Let's get all of you guys right here. Oof, yeah, yeah, that whole lot. So I do have Prism, and I have an extra subculture out of the backup. This is Prism. I do like this palette. I think it's gorgeous. I've played with it a lot. I hate to admit that I like Anastasia because I don't want to seem like a follower, because it's not a gig. But, I mean, I, I do. I like her shadows. Okay. Then I have Soft Glam, which I was not going to purchase, but I did purchase. And I use you can see that of all the palettes I have, I use my Anastasia palettes the most. Come on, guys. Cooperate. Okay. My favorite, another favorite is my Norvina. I love Norvina. I was not going to purchase this. I had no intention of purchasing this. I did not want to purchase this, but it was on sale for like 20 something dollars and I was in Sephora and so now I have this and I use it and I like it and then I have the Riviera this this is the bane of my existence I I love the color story it is gorgeous but these shadows are so fucked up like it's a different okay the Alyssa Edwards palette I've used this probably eight or ten times. I've used this twice. Do you see how dirty it is? These are powdery and there's so much fallout, but I love the color story. I like this one way better though. I have a video called This or That. I'll link it in the card so you can see my comparison of the two. So there's those two. God dang. I need to take you out the box. That's the problem. Okay. I'm getting rid of boxes and little slips and all that shit right now. Um, my second favorite, or very closely tied to some culture. Come on out, girlfriend. This really pisses me off. This palette is fucking amazing. 
This is the Jackie Ina palette. And Jackie got fucked by Anastasia. Just got fucked. This palette is outstanding. The way the shadows blend, the selection of colors, the ratio of matte to... Sh I mean, this is just what it is. It's beautiful. It's a badass palette. And this pisses me off because Carly got fucking robbed. Same way because of all that fucking Norvina big palette bullshit. This is the Carly Bible palette. I haven't used this yet. I only bought it to complete my collection because these are light shades. I don't know if they'll work for me, but I like Carly Bible. I think she's good people. She has a good, um, you know, spirit about her. So that's Anastasia and La Rock. Give me a second. Hey guys, I told you this was going to be a long-ass video. This is the last of high-end, but we still have high-end indie to go through. Okay, this is an assorted bunch of, these are the, you know, the outcasts, I guess, of the group. I have this beautiful palette from It Cosmetics called the It Girl. I can't let go of it. It's too beautiful. I've never used it. I anticipate using it as I travel. This, actually, I bought, it was 13 or $10 on Sephora. And I had a 20% off coupon. It's the Mixology palette. I had one of these a long time ago. And I keep it. Honestly, I keep it for like gifts purposes. Or if I need to give somebody something that needs to be brand new and untouched. That's why I bought it. So that's why that's in there. So it's not really mine. That's delineated to somebody else. Um, what else? Okay. Let's just pull you guys out. I have the Pure Soiree Diaries, which I've had before and sold it, but I really enjoyed this neutral palette, so I bought it back. I have the Out of My Blue, Out of the Blue Pure palette. These are mixed up with shades from the Pure Creator palette. I love that formula; it is fantastic. Then I have the only Becca palette I think I have is the Volcano palette. I like this palette. I wish they had a deeper shade than this. But I make it work, and I think it's actually a very good palette. I have the Tardius Pro Remix. Getting rid of slips, guys. Beautiful palette. I love this palette. I think this was a good attempt at a colorful palette for Tarte. What's, what are you? Who are you? Oh, you already did you. Then I have this one, which is, what the hell are you called? Passport to Paradise, I think is what it's called. It was on QVC or HSN. I was able to grab it. Then these next ones right here. Let's do you first. I bought this. I used it one time. I decluttered it. And I bought it back. And this is the Tarte. I can't fucking remember. Then I bought the Adeline Morin palette. Great travel palette. Then I bought the Young, Wild, and Cruelty Free. Another good attempt. I'm going to keep this one. Um, a color for Tarte. Good job. Tarte is trying, guys. Give them some fucking slack, man. Cut them some slack. Give them a break. Then let's grab these guys. What are you? Oh, I just got this. I really like this palette. This is the Pure Perfect Selfie Palette. <gasps> I broke the blush. God damn it. Okay. So it's a face palette and eye palette. I need to press that. And eye palette. Pure has amazing face products. Don't sleep on them. So just so you know. I have a blush book by them, but it is my favorite. Then I have the Tartlet in Bloom. One of my first palettes. And don't shame me. Oh my god. I can't even, I'm not going to tell you how long I've had this. I've had this for a very long time, and I have never used it. But this is a Tarte Toasted. I've just swatched it a thousand times. So, that's what, that's what it is, guys. Suck it up. Deal with it. Okay. Then I have my bigger, rounder palettes. This is not the Showstopper. This is what this called. Who are you called, goddammit? Ladies Night, I think. Ladies Night Out. Beautiful. Get out of there. I don't want you anymore. 
Okay, and then I have, this one is the uh, Love Trust and whatever the fuck. This is a fantastic palette, very beautiful. And then this is also one of my favorites. This is the uh, Make Believe in Yourself. I actually have a backup of it. I've used it a lot. See how dirty it is? I'll use it a lot. Then, they came out with this little booger. Mermaid Swim and Be a Mermaid and Swim Away, or the hell it is. I like this palette too. So that's that. I'm falling out of my chair. Okay, then I have the Smashbox LA Cover Shot Eye Palette where it's like a bunch of the cover shots together. Not bad quality, do not buy it at full price. Then I've been wanting this one so bad, let me get the box off, get, get it out of the box. I'm done with that, it has a lookbook, cool. I love lookbooks. This is the Let's Gold by Make It Forever. It's pretty you. It is just a beautiful palette. I do like neutral sometimes, guys, so. You'll be surprised. The next two are um, two of my favorites as well. This is the Bare Minerals Hidden Treasure. Cool tones and neutrals. I like that one. What's this? Um, this is the Smashbox Double Exposure. Never been used, brand new. Got it at uh, Nordstrom Rack for $7.50. Um, what else? I have my Cargo Getaway Palette. Someone um, gifted this to me, as well as the Emerald City or whatever. Gifted this one to me as well. Sorry for the reflection, I apologize. Then I have my Make It Forever Artist Palette 15 Artist Shadow. Here you. I've had this forever. I love it so, so much. I use it more than you would think. I'm missing a palette. I'm missing one of my bare minerals palettes. I don't know where the hell you are. Hmm. Then I have the Barbie Pure Palette. Now, if a company ever did something right, it was pure. This is Grown Up Barbie. Do you see what this is? This is the same stuff that Tarte did with that Foiled Fingers palette. And then you go inside and you get this loveliness right here. This is amazing. I've used it already. I really enjoy it, even though it has glitter. But it's an amazing palette. I'm missing a palette, guys. Did I, I know I didn't sell it. Hmm. It wasn't any of the other baskets. Well, maybe we'll run across it. Okay, hold on. We're going to do... I admit it. it. I'm an idiot. I have a favorite drawer for the way I rotate my makeup. And in that drawer are some palettes that I have missed from sections that I've already recorded. So let me just go over them really quick. I have the Jouer Ultra Foil. Get rid of you. This should have been in the small high-end indie, as well as some Inglot palettes. As well as Meat Matador. I got rid of the other two Meat Mats. Okay, so that should have been in the small high-end or small high-end indie, as well as this Becca palette that I was looking for during that video. I use this a lot. That's why I was surprised I couldn't find it. This is also a very good palette. I love it. I love it for its um, face products. This is the Pure Midnight Mask Gray. Okay, for um, large palettes, let me see, hold on. Mm. Stuff for, okay, for large palettes, I should have had in there the taupe notch. It wasn't in there. I should have had in there the pure creator, which I redid like I was saying in this video. I should have had in there the 90s baby palette from Peachy Clean. Let me get rid of that. Well, now I need that for a sticker, but it's okay. That. Beautiful. And like I said, some of these were in the favorite drawer. Some of these were in the second chance, last chance bucket. And I just was not on top of my game. I just got this, the LA Girl Fierce and Wild. And this is, I think, Untamed. Where is your name? Yeah, Untamed. Okay. And you go over there. Then this is the LA Girl Hot Hot Heat. 
And this one, I can't remember what the hell it's called, but this is kind of everyday palette one. And this is the Aloha Heat. These were all in my favorite drawers to go into the fabric rotation. Okay. And then this one I have somewhere else because I'm doing a review about it. This is the Kush Queen. Get rid of you. That should have been in large palettes as well. I apologize profusely for my error. And then for this video, the ones that I couldn't find that were missing, I was missing the Pretty Mess because it was in the Second Chance Last Chance bucket. I was missing the UD Gwen Stefani. It was in the Second Chance Last Chance bucket. Uh, I was missing the Pure Festival also in the Second Chance Last Chance bucket. And the one that set this whole thing in motion was the Bare Mineral, Mineral Central. It was in my favorite drawer. Okay, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to turn you around and put you towards my high-end indie. And we're going to wrap this sucker up. Yes, I'm running short on time. So I'm only going to be able to show you today. It'll all be in one video. Um, the first two drawers. Okay. Um, and I'm a dumbass. I got forgot two mainstream palettes. This is the Starlit palette from Makeup Forever. It was on my desk because it's the only glitters I really use. It is super, super sensitive and super, super beautiful. But these fuckers will fall right out like that one did. Like that one did right there. So, it's a beautiful palette. And then I forgot that I had this. I don't know where the hell it was, but I found it. And this is the Makeup Forever Luster Shadow palette. This is when they changed their formula. Okay, so the, I, I have officially finished my mainstream high-end. Okay, these are all Andy brands. Okay, so let's start over here. Right there. So I have all of Juvia's Place, but I did declutter the Zulu because I did not like that. So this is the Mini Nubian. We're getting rid of you. That, that. Perfect. For the purse, we have the Fumi, which is my favorite of all of Juvia's Place so far. And I keep all of the Nubian over here, except for the, the six pan ones that she just came out with. This is the first one I bought, and you can see that I've really used it. This is the regular Nubian. This is one of my least favorites, too. And it has nothing to do with the quality. It's just the color story is not for me. And it's the Nubian Coral. But that silver is fire, darling. Then I have the Saharan, another one that's not my favorite. I really have to think... But that um, gold is fire. <laughs> the Afrique. Get rid of you guys. I've never used this. I will admit it. So that's what that is. The Nomad I did a um, review on. And I really, really like this palette. I really wish she had done, like, made this right here a gold shimmer or metallic or a like a or a real mustard and then I would have been happy. Then run out of room already. The Saharan 2. I'm so tired of these goddamn plastic things. This is a perfect palette for me. It's got three mattes at the bottom and six shimmers at the top and that's how I need to live my life. Then I have the Warrior 3 which is also equally beautiful. One of my favorites indeed. Beautiful palette. Stunning. Then I have the Warrior. Oh, I'm missing the Warrior too. I don't know what the hell it is. Beautiful. And I think up here, for some retarded reason. Where are you? Are you in here? There you are. As well as the Masquerade up here too. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, here's the Warrior 2. Here is the Masquerade Mini. I had the Masquerade Large, uh, and I depotted it, and then I eventually sold it. So, that's why that one's not used. But I used the hell out of the original Masquerade. Let's move these. And this one. Then I have the Tribe Palette by Juvius. Another one of my favorites. Okay. The Festival. Beautiful, beautiful palette. I cannot believe I've been keeping all these damn plastic things. I love this shade right here. It is so beautiful. And then we got the ones in the back. The Deuce or the Dossier or the Douche or whatever the hell it is. I've used this one a ton. They call it the 
uh, was it the white bitch palette or something? <laughs> I don't know what to call it. But it is uh, light skin friendly, if you will. And then I have the Juvi um, the Nubian 2, which I bought when it first came out. I love that Egypt shade. It's gorgeous. And then the last one back here is the Magic Mini. I have the Magic Big. I got rid of it. And I got the Magic Mini. So that's why this one isn't touched quite yet. Okay. Then back here, I have two palettes from Glam Light. I have the Meat Lovers palette. Okay. And this is what this one looks like. And then I have the Veggie Lovers. Which was the first one I got. I just could not. It was su it's such a gorgeous palette. If you look at this palette closely, it's got this beautiful like green mustard. Excuse my nail. It's green mustard shade. It's beautiful. Then it has this green here, this gold, this green, this kind of like foresty green, this kind of olive green. I just love it. And then that that kind of brown burgundy. Mm, sexy. Then I have the Clueless palette, which is just, you know, living my teen years. Then I have the All I Want palette from Kylie. It's a gift. Then over here I have from Rude Cosmetics, I have the Roaring Twenties Carefree, which I'm sure is a dupe of um, Old Girl on Huda Beauty, but it's beautiful. Picked it up during that Savage Black Friday sale that I lost my mind with. Okay, and then I have the Roaring Twenties Reckless. And I do love this color story. I think it's beautiful. I like this color right here. Like this row is calling my name. I like that. Okay. And then I have the Majestic palette. Uh, the Makeup Shack. I meant to get the rest of these. This is subculture vibey to me. It's just amazingly beautiful. I like that one. And then I have my Ace Butte Quince Essential palette. Um, I was on to Ace Butte before anybody knew who the hell they were, but this is beautiful. I love this palette. So yeah, that's that drawer. Ooh, my foot. Let's shut this drawer and move on down. Now this drawer is specifically high-end indie international. Okay, can you wrap your head around that? We're gonna go through these really quickly because there's a lot in this drawer. This is the Sosu uh, times CLE collaboration. This is the Azure Allure. This motherfucker is beautiful. Okay. And then I have the Sosu uh, bear and bougie, I and mean, you know how to get that, which is also beautiful. Okay. Then I have all of my Nabla, and I think I have all the Nabla palettes, I'm pretty sure. This is the Soul Blooming, which I have not used yet, because I got it Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all those motherfuckers. Um, I think I got up like three palettes that day. Um, then I have the Nopla Dreamy, which is just stunning in the packaging. That's gorgeous. And this is the palette. Beautiful. I heard a lot of people had problems with some of Nopla's um, palettes, but that the singles were good. So during Black Friday, I also bought some singles. This is the Nopla Dreamy 2. Now this. What? Get back, Jack. That is a bad motherfucking palette. Okay, this is the secret, right, secret palette. Beautiful. Just stunning. I love those kind of grungy palettes. It's kind of my bad. And then this one is the Poison Garden. This is the first one I got. Which did not receive that good of reviews from YouTubers, but I fucking like it. Okay, so that's what's happening with those. Then I have the Mermaid Palette by KG Beauty. And I got this off a of recommendation from, I think it's a Nets Makeup Corner. 
I'm just going to push these forward and I'll fix them later. Then I have the Hasina from Blush Tribe. I haven't purchased from Blush Tribe in quite a while for a couple of reasons. Let me get rid of that. This is the Layla palette from Blush Tribe. And I have not used this one. I just recently got this from a friend. I will be going through my colorful palettes and determining which ones I need to get rid of because I have too many. Then I have the Hasina 2, which I liked, but I didn't. Ow. Oh my gosh, I gotta readjust my leg. <laughs> I didn't I liked, but I didn't love. And this is the Hasina 2. You can tell I've used it quite a bit. Okay. We're just gonna keep reaching back. Back here is the Urban Bible by Sosu. And a lot of people didn't like this, but I thought it was the shit. It's a beautiful palette. It blended well. I thought it was excellent. Purples perform. I can always tell if the palette's going to perform, perform well if the purples, you know, how they act. This is the Sosu Hot Fire Remaster. I'm a fan of Sosu. She got my money bag. Okay. And then let's push those back there. Then I'm going to go over here and grab my Misha Lou. Big fan of Misha Lou. Big fan. Big fan. This is the one that everybody lost their shit about. This is the witchcraft. And then the one that I really am fond of is the Queen Bee. I did a review on it on my blog. If I can link it, I will. And then the Fawn palette is kind of like your basic bee palette. And but the but it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. Beautiful. Okay, so those are my Misha Lou. And then let's grab this one back here. This is from oh gosh, Bombshell Cosmetica. This is their cookie palette. Okay. Let's grab put this back there. Boom. Let's move these over. Now let's do these since we're already covering it. This is by Tokidoki. It's a palette I uh, was gifted. Then I have my Zueba. What are you called? Basic moment. And it, I mean, like it says, what does it look like? It's motherfucking basic. So that's okay. Sometimes you need a basic moment. Then I have my Zueba, oh gosh, uh, Premier palette. The only reason I'm going to stop recording, guys, is that I got to let my dog out. And then I have the matte spectrum palette. That's way back. Okay, I got those all by Friday. Okay. Then we have the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics palettes. I actually tried to sell these, but uh, I ended up keeping them. This is the Smoke palette. And this is the Vintage. And the Vintage. I like I want to try it again. I'm putting these in second chance, last chance, actually, because I want to try it again. Maybe I can make it work. I, maybe I was just frustrated that day. Then I have the Toki Doki. Uh, I think this is a spooky palette. And then I have one of my favorite palettes, a kind of keepsake. That's why it's in the box. It's my Snow White Besame palette. Just, oh my god. It says. It's just beautiful. It's just be no, no. I will never, ever, 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 ever touch that. Then I have this really interesting palette from, oh gosh, what are they called? The Unicorn Cosmetics. It's the Tote Mech, Tote Mech palette. Look at this artistry on the front. Stunning, right? So the inside is equally as beautiful. Just beautiful. So that goes here. You guys go back. Go back to where you live. Respectfully. I thought you said. This is the Tokidoki um, Skater Palette. Got this um, from a friend. And then we're going to move over here. This is the Deep Luster Palette from Kaleidos. I don't remember who I heard it from first or where I saw it first. But as soon as I saw it, I ordered it immediately and fell completely in love and then went on to purchase these boogers so 
Are these in boxes, man? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Okay, you gotta come out the boxes, guys. Can't be in the boxes anymore. Okay, this one, I don't know if these are in order. This is the Futurism 2, the Cyber Bronze. And I'm only gonna keep the slip because the names are on it. That's the Cyber Bronze. And then this one is the Futurism 1, the Sci-Fi Green. This is very much a dupe for the Milk Cosmetics Gemini palette. I don't think that was intentional though. I don't think it was like a thievery type situation. This brand seems on the up and up. This is the Futurism 5 Electric Turquoise, I think is what it says. I'm reading it upside down. Okay. This is the Futurism 3 Astro Pink. I've seen some looks with this that were so damn beautiful. And the blue in here is outstanding. That's what that looks like. Okay. And the last one is the Futurism for the Neon. And again, I will be going through my inventory and looking at all my palettes that have colorful, you know, matte colorful type situations and seeing which ones I will keep. This is the Neon. So beautiful. Kaleidos Cosmetics is where it's at. I'm telling you right now. Right now. That's where it's at. This is a highlighting palette from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics that I can never use as a highlighting palette. So I use it as eyeshadows. And then I have Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, the Simple Eyes palette, which I wrecked. I love that brand. Then Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Flaming Love. Which I've also had some fun with. And then the next one. What are you called? Netto. And I have Certify. This is something number two. Affinity number two. Is that what it is? The Affinity two, yeah. Just got this recently. I can't wait to play with that one. You guys should be over here. These are the wave of palettes. This is the Opulence palette. You should be over here. You belong over here. With your brothers and sisters. And this one's I've had I've had for a long time, since 2017. This is the Cocoa Blend. Okay, so that's that. Get rid of you. Okay, then back over here. This is the Certified Destiny palette. I bought this accidentally. This is not the one I wanted, but it's still beautiful. And this is the Certified Affinity palette. I usually don't do all matte palettes or all matte looks, but my first ever all matte look was with this palette and it was gorgeous. We're almost done. Back for with this drawer, and then I'll come back tomorrow and finish up. This has got to be in my top three palettes ever in my life. This is the Paulina palette with Blush Tribe. It's fucking amazing. I don't know if they restocked. If you can get your hands on this mother, get it. It's beautiful. Paulina, I'm all about her. I think she's the shit. So that's that. This is Sample Beauty. This is, I think, the Cult palette. I haven't used this one yet. But guess what? I When I got it, Black Friday. Okay, and then this is OPV Spotlight. I have not used this one yet, but guess when I got it? Yes, you're right. Then this is the... Can't get it open. Minoza, Minaza, I can't pronounce that correctly. Palette from Blush Tribe. Okay. And this is the Sour Blast eyeshadow palette from uh, Bombshell Custom Makeup. This is by far the best palette they have, just in case. You want to know that? This is the best one they have. This is the best one. Performs the best, blends the best. It's a very good palette. And then these two are from Bombshell Cosmetic Cup. This is the caramelized eyeshadow palette, which is good for you basic women, but it's still beautiful. Like these, this shade right here, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. They're all beautiful. They're beautiful. So definitely would suggest that they always have sales. And the last one in this drawer is the Hubba Bubba, or Oh Hubba Hubba. 
um, eyeshadow palette, which I have not used, but I can't wait to. Okay, the next two drawers are going to be um, eyeshadow palettes that are indie, but are domestic. In other words, they're made in the U.S. So, that's what we're looking for. Uh, I still have two more drawers of high-end palettes, guys, and they're all indie, which will be fun, right? So, I'm so sorry this is taking so long. So, I will be back tomorrow, and like I said, there'll be one video, you won't know the difference. But, um, don't you love how I organize as I talk to you guys? I think that's funny as shit. Um, but we'll be back t tomorrow. Just let me take a break. Let my dog out. Maybe I'll do it tonight. Hell, I don't know. But, uh, hey guys, I'll be back. Welcome okay. back. Thank Thanks. you. It's the next morning. It's about 6.30. And I have an hour and a half to get dressed, take my dog out. Well, I'm dressed. Take my dog out, do my makeup, eat breakfast. So, we are going to go through this quickly, but you will see everything that is in this drawer which is my high-end indie domestic stuff and stuff is made in the usa i already showed you um this drawer which was my um juvia's place and some other ancillary things and this drawer which was all high-end indie um, um international stuff so now we're going to finish up this long ass video so let's get started got my water my big ass water so i'm ready <clears throat> all right let's start this right here is the Ace Beauté um, Vintage Dawn palette. I just got this. I was going to get both of them, but I decided I didn't need both of them. Very beautiful palette. I haven't used it yet. I just got it the other day. And these all right here are my OM... Right here, let's put you over here. My OM um, FG palettes. So the first one... Um, I had to write the names on them. This is OMFG Kush. Beautiful, beautiful palette. You have to be careful because the pans will pop out. And behind that one is the Sea Dreams. Really pretty. And I've used all of these. I did a review on this brand. This one is Hot Tropic. Okay. okay, looks like that. And then this one is Fall Vibes. This is one of my favorite ones. If you see lights flashing in the background, that's because there's lights flashing in the background. <laughs> and then this one is, oh gosh, Pretty and Pastel. Okay, so those are all, not all of them, but those are the ones that are the pink ones. Then further back... This is by a brand called um, Rincon. This is the Tropics palette, which I have used and I really do enjoy it. I love the color story. I think it's very unique, very pretty. We're getting rid of those little plastic things. They're bothering the shit out of me. Then from that same brand, Rincon, I have the Sugar Rush, which I have not used, but is definitely my color story for sure. Then behind that one, we have the Heartbreaker from the same brand. Oh, it pulls out more. <laughs> um, this is the Heartbreaker, which I have used. Okay. Then we go into my Beauty Crop palettes. I really love Beauty Crop. I think they're affordable, but really great um, quality. This is the Dawn Gazing. It's got a glitter. You know I hate glitters, but I love this palette. Get these down. There we go. Then I have the Stargazing, which has more glitters, but that's okay. Then I have the Mojito. I just got this recently. Definitely my color story. Then behind that, this actually belongs in front of it, but this is the Sun Gazing. More glitters, but that's okay. I really love this brand. I think they're really great. Okay, and then behind that, I think this is Sangria, if I don't remember. Yeah, it is Sangria. And I used this one week, and I was losing my mind. I love this. Especially this shade right here is really beautiful. Okay. And then the last one back here is, yeah. This is from a brand called Spoiled Lips Cosmetics. 
This is the, oh gosh, what is it? It's not on here, the name of the um, palette, but it's something, volume three, I don't recall. That was a gift. Okay, so you guys go, and I'm back that way, if you were. Okay, then we'll start here. I have the Skinny Dip palette from Jouer. This is absolutely one of my top 10 favorite palettes. Um, these are, people say they're toppers. They are not toppers. These are full on like glitter, metallic beautifulness. I keep it on my desk. Look at this shit right here. I mean, they're gorgeous. This, this, pick it up this, for sure. It's a great palette. Then I have my Miracle palette from Glam Light, which I have not used yet. I bought a bunch of Glam Light at one time. Oh wait, hold on. Let's go over here real quick and fix this. Yeah, this belongs over here. You guys know I gotta organize as I go. Let's to clean up later. That's what my mom would say. Okay. And then I have Moira. Happy to see you. This was also a gift from a friend. I really like Moira Cosmetics. I think they have a great um, formula and some very interesting um, color stories, as well as packaging. Like, look at this one. This is from Moira. It's a thick package, though. This is the uh, Never Ending Lights. Is that what it says? Yeah, and Never Ending Lights. But look at this. Look how beautiful this is. This right here is so beautiful. I love that. And um, like I said, it's thick packaging, but it has this full mirror and then this beautiful, beautiful color story. That lime is talking to me. Okay. Okay. And then the next Moira is Glow and Gleam. I think I got these all Black Friday. Yeah, this is another one that is definitely my color story. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this right here is beautiful. This, this, this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's just so thick. I wonder why it's so thick. I don't know. And then the last one that is of that similar kind of um, like makeup is the Soul of Fire, which <laughs> they just like went in my collection and said, let's look what Bougie Brie likes and let's make that for her. So really, I've been impressed with their um, eyeshadows and I will continue to be impressed, I'm sure, as I continue to buy from them. Then I have the Juicy Olive from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. This is one of two palettes I have from Give Me Glow. No, I have three. Three. I use the crap out of this. You can tell. I use this a lot. Um, I had it um, as I rotate my makeup. I rotate it every two weeks. And I think I used this like five days in a row. Then I have the Olympus palette. This was my first indie palette that I ever got from Christiana Ann. And then I gave it to my niece. And then somebody else had it and gave it to me. So that worked out really well. This is the Venus Marble palette. Which is just a stunning palette. You've got your beautiful neutrals, but then you've got this kind of awkward green brown shade you've got a cream um, for your base this shade is beautiful as well as this shade very beautiful palette okay these two are also omfg cosmetics they're just larger um and they are one is matte and one is shimmer this is the rainbow palette this is the rainbow matte and this is the rainbow shimmer so beautiful I did not realize how many of these little plastic slips I have. And they are helpful, but, you know, that's enough of that. Then back here, I have my Lunatic Labs Cosmetics. I cannot stand the pa this packaging. I think it's so hideous. But, like, this is, it's supposed to be a heart, and I just, I can't. But they're, the company's known for, for being, bit diff being different. This is called the Take My Heart. Beautiful. This color, beautiful. So that's that. Then I have my Amy, my Amy palettes. 
I do not have the new one with her and Amy. <laughs> this is the ingredients palette, but I will be getting the Amy and Amy palette. Okay. This is the Bon Appetit palette, which I have used. It's gorgeous. And then here is the Amy Loves Beauty. My beach is better. Oh gosh, that always pops out. I have one that is a runner that pops out. This pink, which I love, always pops out. And I did a review of Amy Loves Beauty brand on my blog. Then back here I have the Color Tory Shadow Palette, which is the popcorn palette. I've got a lot of bright palettes, my friends. I just got this. And back here, shout out to Monica from Matt Beauty. I got this because of her. This is the Make Up a Murder Crime Scene Trace and Evidence Shadow Palette. Monica, this one's for you. And this is the palette. I have not used it yet, but I have good faith in Monica's uh, choosing of palettes and I can't wait to try it. I remember when it came out and I saw her like talking about the palette on like a will I buy it type video and she was losing her shit about it. So when I saw it um, from my packing, from the lady that I buy from on Macari, I was like, my friend said that is amazing. So I'm gonna get that one. Okay, okay so you don't wanna work. Hold on guys, let me put this back. Give me a second. How did you fit one second and now you don't fit? That's ridiculous. I personally don't appreciate that. Okay. Chill there. Remove makeup. I don't know why I got these drawers. These are not good for my like purposes. Like what I need them to do. It's not good. I mean, they're nice drawers, but like, you see how many palettes I have? Like, this is not ideal. I should have gotten another Alex Mine or something. But, you know, I got stuff to spread all out in different drawers. And I'd rather have all of my palettes in one drawer. I really would. Or in one, like, I should have gotten an Alex Mine just for my palettes. That would have been ideal. Okay, so let's start over here. <clears throat> these are my Melt Cosmetics um, stacks. I got these for Black Friday. Okay, this is the, what the hell is this? The blueprint? The blueprint. Okay, now these are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but these, um, the packaging is shitty as hell. Because first of all, the pucks, the hockey pucks, are like plastic, and that's not what I was expecting, and they're light. And you see, see that? That's what I'm talking about. Like they don't have enough like stickiness, but the shadows themselves are very pretty. It needs to be more um, magnetic. So that was disappointing, especially for the price that these are. I didn't pay regular price for these, just so we're all clear on that. <clears throat> and then I have the Love Six deck. And this is what this one looks like. They need to be more, more like stronger magnets, that's what they need. And the and the plastic, I just can't with that plastic. I didn't. I did not expect them to be plastic, I really didn't. Okay, then let's move up front over here. I have the Temptations palette from Midas Cosmetics. God damn it, this thing is stuck. Come on, guy. Okay, we're gonna get rid of you. This is the Temptations, which is Julia uh, Gutierrez and Midas. Okay. Okay, so that's one. And then I have this one, which is also a gift. This is the Sugar Pill Twin Stars. And people talk shit about this palette, but I really like it. This is one that I probably will never use. This is the Dose of Colors Minnie Mouse. Now, I will say this, I wanna be clear on this. I am not a fan of Walt Disney. Walt Disney was a racist and an anti-Semitic and an anti-Catholic and anti-women. He was a horrible man, but 
you know, people work for him now don't necessarily um, espouse those type of views and they need to get paid, just like I feel about Jeffree Star and Laura Lee's people that work for them, you know. Um, just because Walt Disney was an asshole doesn't mean his um, employees are as well, so. <laughs> but that's how I feel about that. And Minnie Mouse is cute. Um, then I have my Buttered London, London Natural Goddess. I really love Buttered London. I was not too thrilled about this one. <coughs> Excuse me. But I love my Natural Charm palette. Then behind that, I have my Makeup uh, Maniacs palette. This is the Sweet Tooth palette, which I was going to sell. And then I was like, what the hell are you doing? This is a fantastic palette, actually. I love this, like, poo-poo brown right here. Then I am back to Violet Boss. I love Violet Boss. This is the best uh, life one and two. God damn. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you these kind of like this. Like, here's the glitter part, which you know I don't like glitters, but these actually swatch really well. They swatch like shadows. And then this is the other part. And I got these on uh, VIB, I think. And this is the best life two. I am gonna keep the little slips in here. These actually swatch like regular shadows. So uh, that's why I was okay with it. Plus I just love Violet Boss. And I love this color story. This row right here is really sexy. So those are those. Best life one, best life two. Okay, then I have my other milk. Shadows. I have my smoke sessions. I got this after um, like the second or third release because I saw the whole, you know, shadows falling out of the um, pan and them being very puffy and it's a messy palette, but I love it. So my, I don't have that problem. I got my motor. I have the radioactive palette. I have not tried this. I have seen so many people talk shit about this palette. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not going to say anything, but that it's beautiful. And I can always still take it back. Or I can sell it. That's a chance you take. I don't like to return stuff. I really, really don't. But, um, you know, it's okay. It's not that serious. Then I have my Gemini palette, which ordinarily I would like the Smoke Sessions palette more because it has more shimmers. But this is a work appropriate palette um, and you can use it in conjunction with the Smoke Sessions palette. So I love this one, but it only has two shimmers. And if you know me, that's not sexy to me. So, okay. So then I have my Tan Lines palette from Jouer. Get this out of the box. I have only used this a couple of times. The um, mattes in here are shitty, but the shimmers are the life of the palette. And then I have this half of the um, um, infamous palette that came out for Christmas from Melt, which this packaging is just fucking life. I have the Vita palette. I did not get the Muerte palette. I was I couldn't get my hands on it every time they had it like available. I did not have money for it, so I just said, okay, God, you know, I'll get it when I get it but it's sexy and I like it. That's my air sprayer if you heard that, okay. And then I have the 27 palette from Not Cosmetics. Very sexy warm tone palette. Take it out the box. Then I have my KKW and Mario palette, which I've used quite a bit. Then I have one of my favorite palettes ever, ever, ever. This is Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. This shit is amazing. Uh, you will see I've used this a lot. I used to keep it on my vanity because I used it so much. I love this palette. I think if you're new to makeup and you're looking for a neutral palette, this is the one you buy. Don't buy the chocolate bar. Don't buy any nakeds. Buy this palette. This is the palette you buy. And I think that it goes across uh, many demographics. You know, it's not necessarily just for young or old. This is the lemonade palette. I got a, a dud and I returned it and they sent me a new one. So this is the one I have. I 
I really like Kristen Dominique. I, she doesn't really cause any problems in the community. She keeps her head down. She doesn't cause any issues. I like her a lot. This is the Moira uh, Like a Melody. This is stunning. Yes, Moira, bring it, sis. I'm gonna move you over here. Move you over here. Okay, and then back here, if you go out any further, no you don't, is the ice cream palette from Dose. I did have this and sell it and then buy it back. So I wanted to try to make some looks with it. I was staying in the neutral zone with this palette and then I did look at some uh, tutorials and some um, Instagram kind of looks and I was able to make some beautiful looks with this palette and I really like it. Then I have my Japanese pixelated palette. These are beautiful. These are beautiful. Beautiful. Do you understand me? Beautiful. Like They're beautiful. They're stunning. They're stunning. They're stunning. They're beautiful. I don't use this nearly enough. Okay. And then we have all that shit back there. Okay. Let's go this way. I have my fantasy palette by Krista Rice Makeup. It has glitters. This was a gift though. So we're keeping that. And I have my you're so money, baby palette. I bought this for myself for Christmas. And then I have Glowed Up Cosmetics, which no one ever talks about. This is the Sun palette, Into the Sun palette. No one talks about this brand. They're amazing. Check them out, Glowed Up Cosmetics. Then we have the um, Fury of the Oven, Game of Cones by Beauty Bakery. Now I had this palette and I was using it and then someone sent me this one and so now <laughs> I sold the other one. So that's that. And then in the back we have the beginning of my PG Queen, which is I think the drawer below. This is the Summer Bloom by PG Queen. Wow, PG Queen is really... Um, pissed me off. I have purchased all of their palettes. I purchased a palette on November 29th. Today is January 10th and I still haven't received my palettes. This is their Summer Bloom palette and they have made excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse um, and I'm pissed off about it because I've spent a grip of money with that company and um, they offered no compensation for my I mean it's been five fucking weeks. And I think that's unacceptable. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a bitch. And I've been very kind and um, thoughtful. I understand you had a large volume. You probably weren't expecting such a rush. You gained such fame through, you know, YouTube. No, they, they were just, and then she didn't answer my emails for like a week. So, yeah, I'm not, like, not happy with that company right now. What they really should have done is offer to give me my money back. And they never did. So, I'm not cool with that. I digress. Okay, let's get back over here. Then I have my Gorgeous Cosmetics Neon Palette. You cannot get this anymore. Huge pans. Gorgeous. These are pro makeup. And then I have this one from Deck of Scarlet. This was a gift. I've never used it. But I think it's perfect for travel. And this one is called the Pop the Prosecco and get the party started palette. That's hilarious. I didn't know that's what it's called. Then I have another Moira palette back here. This is the Wonderlust. This is a gift. Okay. Then I have, this is um, by Chantilly Cosmetics. Sun's out, bun's out. Tell me that's not fucking adorable. Really? Get out of here. And then it has like a little card with the um, shades and then those are the shades. Isn't that fucking sexy? That's a summer palette. This is by Chantilly Cosmetics. Check them out. And then this one is by, oh gosh, what is this? Oh gosh, I can't remember the name of this company. 
Canopy. Canopy Cosmetics. This is hella gorgeous. I got this one from um, Classy and Sassy off of Mercari. Check her out. I will leave her linked in the description box. And this one I did a review on. Um, a YouTube review on. Uh, this is um, Queen KM Cosmetics. It's a very, 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 very small indie brand. And I did a review and I, I just Instagram messaged them and told them that I was going to do a review. They watched my review. They really liked it. They were really cool. It's a young lady trying to do, do her thing. And I'm all about that life. Like you're trying to do something with your life. What? Okay. I'm down for that. I'm down for helping you out in any way I can. And I told her, I said, listen, when I review, I haven't even touched the palette, but when I review it, I'm going to be honest. So if you can't handle that, you know, go ahead and block me. I won't be offended because some people can't handle the truth. And she's like, no, no, no. I'm totally looking forward to any feedback. So she was really cool. And um, I, I'm going to be continuing to look out for her palettes as they come out. Okay. That's this drawer. You're not going to fit. I know you aren't. Can you fit? Oh, shit. Can you go there? No, you're not going to fit there. Maybe. Maybe. There. That drawer is already sinking. Okay. This is the last drawer, guys. This is all high-end. And this is high-end indie. We're almost done. We're going to go through this quick fire. This is by Live Glam or Live Glam, the Shadow Me. I love these palettes. I no longer have a subscription, but Classy and Sassy always gets them, and so that's where I buy them from. This is the Gourmand Girls and Batgirl Etka. I got this from Classy and Sassy. And Mercari, again, check her out. This is Midas Cosmetic, I believe, yeah. Love is Love. Oh gosh, what is that? It doesn't have a stick on it, I need to get it fixed. Oh yeah, it does, okay. This is the Love is Love, this is the Pride palette that they did. haven't used it. Can't wait. Okay. This is the Well Song palette by uh, Menagerie Cosmetics. Really, really love Menagerie. We had a bit of a misunderstanding, um, but I really still love the brand and support them in any way I can. Um, I was just screwing there. That's weird. Okay. This is the Well Song. I have not used this. I know I should be shot. I haven't used it. It's on the list. This is Midas Cosmetics. This is the High Times palette. I don't think this has a sticker either. Yeah, you do. Okay. This is the High Times palette. I really do like this palette, even though I don't endorse the use of drugs. I think it's a beautiful palette. This is the Feral palette from Midas Cosmetics. I mean, from... Um, Menagerie, I did, oh my gosh, what a mess, what a mess, Menagerie. I did have the Dragon Child, uh, but I, I sent it to Classy and Sassy because she's been so good to me, and she wanted it, and she asked me if I had it, so I sent it to her, so that's what you do when people treat you right. This is the Feral Palette, which I have used, as you can see, a little bit. <laughs> it's a messy palette. This is Midas Cosmetics. I think this is the, uh, yeah. La, um, La Dulce Viva. I don't like to say things incorrectly. La Dulce Viva. Okay. And I have also used this one. This damn plastic is stuck. Okay. It's really pretty. Then we have the Protégé palette. I think I'm gonna send this to Desiree, my best friend. I think these she really, really like these colors. So Des, if you're watching, let me know if you want this, honey. Okay, this is gonna be the longest video ever in my life. This is the Hidden Treasures palette. I've never used this, um, never. I love the colors, but I haven't even swatched it because I'm fucked up over the like layout. Like the layout really makes me want to tear my hair out. That is an OCD person's nightmare right there. That is, oh God, I can't even, I don't even look at it. But I have it. I'm gonna keep it. All right, and then we have, what's that? Sipping Pretty from Kylie. Got this from Classy and Sassy. 
Okay. Then we have, this is the Cheers to Beauty Depotted, which I have used. Then we have my favorite, favorite top five, Color Grain and Power Baby. This is a sexy motherfucking palette. <coughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Okay. And then this is in here because for, even though it's like an affordable brand, this was an expensive ass palette. Um, this is the Pretty Poison palette and it's the only palette that I know of that Bad Habit created on its own. So, beautiful. Then I got Flash Dance. If you're an 80s baby, you know what this is about. Beautiful. I might depot these. I don't know. Because it's um, this one and the Dirty Dancing one takes up over some room. This is Super Beauty. This is the Cupcakes and Monsters palette. Got this from Classy and Sassy. She'll be linked below again. Tell her I sent you. This is the Rainbow palette from Bella Voss. I have used this a lot, actually. This was on my vanity for a, a couple of months. I used it a lot. I really like it. This, now this one, oh my god. This is definitely like top 10. I've used this for one week only, and I think I used it in every look I did that week. I've used it a lot. I love, 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 love this palette. It's gorgeous. I love Bella Voss. Sitting back here. Come on, guys. And my Dirty Dancing palette. What? Patrick Swayze. Okay, and then this is what it looks like. It's like a VHS, if y'all know what that means. I don't know if you know. And then this is the palette. It's a big ass palette for these shades, but I'm just in love with the fact that it's a VHS like tape. Like, yes, bring back the 80s. These are all from Glam Vice. Okay. This is the Daydreamer. Okay, let's look at this one. They all have the same kind of front, so I'm not going to show you the front. I'm not loving this. I might sell this. I don't know, but I still, but I love like these shades right here, and the is everything but the glitters basically. So we'll put that to the side. This is the Wild Nature. I love this. It's like a cool tone neutral palette. I love this one. Definitely going to keep that one. Let's scoot you back there. This is the Paradise Sunset. Again, what a funky ass, like, hippie type of vibe I get from that one. Love it. Okay, is that it? Those three? I thought I had four going by. Perhaps not. Okay. So let's hurry up and put these back real quick so we can move on. We're already 30 minutes into this one video. This video is going to be so long, and I'm going to be mortified when I'm editing it. I did blow my nose really good before I started because I don't want anybody to say my nose is running. I know it's running, guys. I'm sorry. I have horrible allergies. And it's the winter, so imagine, like, in the spring, what my shit is like. Have some pity. Okay. Trying to do that. Okay, and whoop, there you go. Okay, then I have Cold Chemistry from Sugar Pill. Got this from Classy and Sassy. Now, you notice I'm saying a lot about Classy and Sassy on Mercari, my friend. She is the bomb. Got Love, Love, I love Love Lux Beauty. I don't know why people give them shit. This is the pretty powerful palette. I got this from Classy and Sassy. She knows I love them. She hit, hit me up that she had it, and I bought it. Love these shadows. This is my new Queen of Hearts, because last year I used my Queen of Hearts as my Pan That Palette, and I think I hit Pan in three shades. And I gave that palette to my niece. So I bought another one. So this is brand new. I haven't even used it. She really wanted it, so. Then I have some sauce box. This is, excuse me guys. This, we're gonna get rid of this box. This is the Secret Garden, I think. Yeah, Secret Garden. This is one of my favorite. I had the etude, but I got rid of it. I gave it to my niece and her friends. And this is the Nocturnal something. Nocturne, yeah. Which I also really like. Okay. Their shimmers are very soft, which is great for me sometimes. Sometimes you need a soft shimmer. Then I have my two Alamar Cosmetics pods right here. 
Then I have this one, which is amazing. This is the Rina del Caribe. And then I have its sister, which is the Rina del Caribe Volume 2. Sorry if my uh, Spanish isn't good. I'm using Duolingo right now to refresh myself on Spanish because I, I can understand it quite well living in Texas and then I lived in San Antonio. Um, it's a necessity to understand Spanish. Then this is the Barbie Shop. This is a um, Instagram brand, very small black owned business. I just got this from my girl Classy and Sassy. Okay. Now, okay, this is my only plate, my only, the only thing I'll ever ask you. If you have any of this brand, please, please, please message me. This is the Dis Bitch from Crate Finds. And I want all of the rest of these palettes. I found this from somebody. They sold it to me. I lost my shit. These are gorgeous. I want the rest of these. If you know anybody that has them that will sell them, please let me know. Message me. Let me know. For real, for real. This is the Mamacita Cosmetics Acapulco palette. Also from Classy and Sassy. This is a lot of indie brands. Now we're getting into Nomad. Nomad Cosmetics. Why are we in the box? Let's not be in the box. This is the oh, okay. Antilles palette, which is gorgeous. The only one I don't have is a Tokyo palette at the moment. And then I have the Berlin Underground. Also gorgeous. I'm loving that second shade, second uh, row. And this is the Marrakesh. Also loving this one. It's on the box. We need to not be in the box. I'm so proud of myself that I'm getting rid of the boxes and stuff. Look at this. Is, what? Nomad is doing something, y'all. Y'all need to catch up. Shit. This is gorgeous. This is oh good. I have some of their single shades too. Gorgeous. Now, now we're getting the PG Queen back here. This is the Alien palette. Which is really funny. Like, I'm doing a review on their um, Kush Queen palette because I was so impressed with it. But, and I didn't tell the owner that. Um, but. I'm not going to say that they're a shitty brand in that review. I'm saying it here. But, um, you know, they make excellent quality stuff. And I get that you had, like, a boom in your fucking um, orders. But, man, six fucking weeks? Man, come on. This is the Chronic by Badass Cosmetics, which I have used and I did do a review about. I do not like the name of it. Um, and I was clear in that review. I let... I emailed the owners and told them I was reviewing their palette, but I did not like the name and I thought it was irresponsible. Just like I think OMFG is a shitty name. There are other names you can choose, guys. Come on. This is the Spirit Board palette from Peachy Queen. I have not used this, but I'm telling you that this will probably be on my eyes in a, in a couple of days. Like, this is gorgeous. Okay, and then the last one. You see how many palettes I have from Peachy Queen? Like, why are you being assholes, dude. Okay, so I'm, I'm done talking about them. This is the Pumpkin Spice oh shit, by PG Queen. This I have used, and I really did like it. I love that top row. That yellow, that pale yellow actually is really pretty. Okay. I'm trying to hurry, guys. I know there's a lot. And then the next video will be luxury, and we will be done. If you have watched this entire video, this entire fucking video, Leave an emoji of some sort. Just please let me know if you finished this whole fucking video. Because if you did, I, I don't know. I might do something special. I might not do shit. Like, be, let me be clear. But I might do something special because this is a lot of work. Okay. This is the Obsessed Palette from Pinky Rose. Yeah, I have not used this quite yet. Got a lot of palettes, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> And you know what? I haven't run across one that I'm like, eh, I want to get rid of it. Like, I love my stuff. This is the exotic peacock. I know I used this one, I'm pretty sure. No, I haven't. Oh, okay, gosh. The exotic peacock. Okay, I have not used that one. I'm very surprised. There's one of them, like the 80s baby, I think, or the 90s baby, or whatever the hell it is. 
one is it? Which one is it? The 80s baby I used. I know I did. I know I did. Did I? Yeah. The 80s baby I used. Okay. You should see my floor. It's littered with little plastic things and boxes and shit. Um, then I have the Bright Lights palette. Okay. What time is it? Ooh, I'm cutting it close. Okay. We're almost done. This is the center stage, which I bought off of Mercari from somebody for how much? Six dollars with free shipping. So happy about that. Okay, let's move on to Ace Butte. A lot of people have mixed feelings about these palettes right here. I happen to really like them. This is the Blossom Passion. Some of them take some work. And I think also it depends on your, like, the chemical structure of your eye, so to speak. Like, if you have oily eyelids, if your eyelids are dry, I think that plays a big role. Slice of Paradise, which I have not used. This one I really like. I think I've used it. Classical Paradise. Yes, I have. Classical Paradise. And I know I've used the Paradise Fallen. So what happened is, I love this palette but I sold it, and I don't know what fucking crack I was on when I sold it, but I repurchased it during what? Black Friday. So this is brand new. Okay, that's those guys. Go back to where you were. Okay, then this one is the Sparkle Baby by Sugar. Oh, fuck me, running. Oh, it's broken. Hold on, guys. I gotta. And when I received it, it was cracked, and I tried my best to fix it. Yeah, I know you shouldn't blow on your stuff. It's not sanitary. Well, it's my shit. Okay, this we need to work on. But these are the shades. God damn it, I'm so pissed off. They're beautiful though. Look at that. That's from the shade. Okay, that's okay. We'll make. We're gonna. We're going to prey on that one and make it fix it. Okay, these are my Uma palettes. I have all three of them. This is the Uma Beauty Black Magic. Okay, so we don't need that. And those are like glitter infused. Those are not like glitter shades. And then we have the Uma Black, wait, Black, what, what the fuck is, oh, this is Black Magic Savage. This is Black Magic Poise, which is your more neutral one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then this is Black Magic Allure. This is beautiful packaging. Look at that. That's sexy. What, bitch? I used the shit out of this palette the week it was in a rotation. Like, what? Jump back, Jack. Is that right there? Is Liz Eye. Okay. Then I have one of my very favorite neutral palettes. You'd be surprised because she's a nutcase. It's the Laura Lee's Cat's Pajama. I actually have a backup of this. I really enjoy this palette. It's definitely like something I would I would travel with. I really like it. I'm gonna have the Block Party by Suva. Is it Suva? Yeah, Suva. Okay, and then I have the Friendcation by Dose, which I have used. And if I'm gonna be a hundred with you guys, which I always am, I wasn't uber impressed. Like. So we're gonna give it one more try. Then I have the rest of my Lunatic Lab Cosmetics right here. So this one is the, the Relic, yeah, the Relic. This one is Vampira or Vampira. And this one is my girl, motherfucking Elvira. Look at that candelabra, get out of here. Okay, almost done, almost done. Okay, let's finish up. This is my colored rain. What the hell is this? The Safari Rain. I just used this uh, last week and beat it up. Love this, love this, love this. And then this is the Peachy Queen Up in Smoke. Do not endorse the use of marijuana. I love this. Like, I know there's like a thousand shades of brown. Like, you know, like 
reminiscent of a 35O palette or some shit, but I just really like it. I'm in love with this brand's quality, not their customer service. Okay, continue. Then this brand I am in love with. This is um, Sydney Grace. God dang it, this thing will not clean up. Um, this is the Autumn's Rain. I have used this a lot. I really like this palette. And I have the Flare palette from Ace Butte. I have not used this. No, I have. I lie. I'm a liar. I have used this. I'm sorry. There's a lot I can't remember sometimes. Okay. And then this is the Oceanic. Which I have not used. I have not used this one. This is the uh, crayon case. This is the Ross Sauce eyeshadow palette. And it has some face um, shades as well. Okay. Get me in there, guys. Help me out. Okay. We're, we've got just this one right here, guys. This one's right here. Okay. Then from Glam Light, we have the Royalty palette. Now, I tried like fucking hell to make these work and I almost sold it. But can you see like, what the fuck is this? You have to really like, is that clean? Yeah. It like, it's like a gelet. I don't, you see how it moves? I don't want you to move. You cannot use a brush. You just fucking can't. So I don't know. I was, that threw me off completely. So that's that. But then, there's the Van Life Caliente, which is gorgeous. That just has like some regular ass shimmers and metallic shades. Like, that, that's, why are we, let's do that. I was like, why are we doing this other shit? I don't know. None of the other palettes I have from Van Light do that. Um, then this is the Alondra Desi. Again, just a regular ass metallic shimmers. Like, what, what was the other one about? Like, I don't understand that I'm confused. And then the last palette in here is definitely sp speaks to my inner 90s child, the Come As You Are Carity palette. Now, I don't know shit about the quality because I haven't used it, but this just brings me back. So, like, listen, it, you'll get to an age where you hear a song and you're like, hell yeah, you'll start bopping your head shit in the car. And this is like, oh man, Seattle, Starbucks fucking cell phones just coming out and shit like this is where it's at so all right that is my high-end high-end indie collection oh god that was so fucking long thank you guys for hanging out with me i really 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 appreciate it i'm so grateful i know it was a long video i'm so sorry i knew it was going to be long but I mean, I'm looking at just this section took 47 minutes. It's, I mean, it's just fucking unbelievable. So thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. If you're having a rough time, just remember it gets real. It gets different. It gets really fucking different. Hang on for the ride. Thanks, guys.